Hey everyone, I'm Marco, a senior here at SPU. For you incoming freshmen or returning students who, like me, haven't explored Seattle a ton, I'm going to highlight some neighborhoods near campus and some of the many activities you can do there. First up is Fremont, which is just across the canal from SPU. Fremont is less than one mile from campus. You'll start your journey here on West Nickerson Street, right next to Robo and Wallace Field, and you'll just be heading down that way. From here, you have a lot of options. You can take the sidewalk or go along the canal. You can walk, you can run, you can bike, scooter, take the bus. But it's a sunny day, so I'll take the walk by the canal. Now once you've made it to this big colorful structure here, this is Fremont Bridge, which fun fact is one of the most frequently open drawbridges in the United States. It's cool to see while you're standing here, but if you're driving and you're already late to class, then it's extremely frustrating. And if you're lucky, you might see the Falcons woman row team practicing on the canal. It's Sunday today, so we're making a left and heading to the Fremont Sunday Market. Every Sunday, there are more than 150 vendors with arts, crafts, food trucks, collectibles, world imports, and just about everything. Just past the Sunday Market is the indoor sun shop for all the plant lovers out there, or poser plant lovers like me, because this thing's probably gonna die, but at least it looks nice while I have it. Go a little further and here is Theo Chocolate, the first organic and fair trade certified chocolate maker in North America. I've been told sometimes you can get a whip of chocolate from here over to campus. Heading back to our Fremont Bridge, we passed the Fremont Rocket, just one of the many landmarks you'll see here. But the most unusual yet, the most famous, is the Fremont Troll. This is actually my first time seeing it. I'm not sure why it's so popular. As you can see, taking photos here is definitely the thing to do. Another landmark to not miss right after you cross the bridge is Waiting for the Inner Urban. This is one of Seattle's favorite statues of community art frequently used to celebrate special events. A short walk past the Inner Urban is one of Seattle's most popular parks, Gasworks. Only one and a half miles from campus if you're counting, offering one of the best views of the Emerald City. Now while you're doing all this exploring, you'll probably get hungry and there's lots and lots of places to eat here in Fremont. And now we're back here on campus near Tiffany Loop. Hopefully I've shown you some new things and you have some ideas on places to try out when you're here on campus this fall. I'll see you all in the next one when I highlight another neighborhood and even more places to go to near campus.